So we've been journeying through Romans. We've been journeying through Romans. And as we journey, uh, we've been learning about the foundations of our, of our faith, this foundation of our salvation. And to make what we learn that it is not by the things that we do that God are not to accept, but rather our faith in Jesus Christ. That is what makes us acceptable before God. Amen? It makes us acceptable, that God accepts us because of faith. Because of faith. And faith is just simply believing in God. Kumuamini too, very simply. That enyewe, kitu God amesema ni nyukweli. Amen? Amen. And so today, the other, the other Saturday in Itulikuwa Hapa, we learned that um, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Sisi wote. Sisi wote, we sinned against God. How? Because when God created us, our lives was to image God. My how God loves, how God lives, how God walks, how God talks. That was, we were to be the images of God to the creation and to the people around us. But when Adam sinned, your nature sin ikakuja kwa sisi water. And we all sin because of that sinful nature. And you see, that aspect of sin, hayezi kwa a true representation of God. Yani to literal picture, in other words. So you see that uh, because of sin, we are not able to to be that representation that God and our desire. Tunonaivo. And so that means that whatever we do, ata mzuri aje, it is always tainted by sin in one way or another. And so Paul and Asim all have sinned. Whether we want to penda zambi, when you want to walk kujingiza too, and you don't care, ama when you are to religious, that you love, you love to put down what you ingine when you are maovu, but inside you do the same thing. Or maybe we want him to unajuana na God. You are so called a Jew. That any what you work on a relationship with God because of their lineage. Labda you are from a Christian family, so you have been knowing, you have been knowing, you have been knowing God. But the issue is, umekwatu kijua about God. You have never known God yourself, unona. And so you unesa sema ah, me na jua what your God ina sema this and this and this. But to kiangalia maishako vizuri, unambi watu ah ufai kudanganya, kumbe kwa uongo we wendo number one. Unambia watu, ah, you're not supposed to steal, but vitu hazizi kaivo karibu na wewe. You see? And so, uh, Paul ends and says, everyone needs salvation. Everyone needs salvation. And this salvation is in Christ. And we learned that God did something so wonderful. Rather than having us pay that penalty, he did an exchange on the cross the punishment in Yesisi tuliko tunafuwa kusafa, ali exchange na Christ. And so the righteous life of Jesus Christ was exchanged for our sinful life. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, Paul anandika nasema, and uh, Jesus Christ was made an atoning sacrifice, and he made him who knew no sin to become sin for us that we may be the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And so at the cross, God did that exchange. Amen? That ilikuwa nisisi tuliko tunafuwa kukufa, but Christ came on our behalf. On our behalf. And now all it takes is simple faith. Kuamini to Just to, to say, Jesus, I believe that you died for me on the cross and you rose again on the third day. And that makes you right with God. That I don't have to, see if I see lazima ni jipige, tumona news, watu wana jipiga, sijui na nini, sana sana saza Easter in the Philippines. They beat themselves up, they try, uh, maybe you're trying to do good things. God just says, to be right with, to be in a right relationship with me, you just simply need faith. Faith. Kuamini. Faith is that inner, inner hand, ni kama ni mkono, but ayonekani, but faith is that inner hand that takes a hold of the promises of God. That is what faith is. See, it took some, ah, mini kona faith, it a come through. Uh-uh. Faith is something that extends towards God and reaches out. And so, 
by faith we, we believe that God has saved us. How? We confessed our sins. We obeyed what God says. God said that we need to believe in Jesus Christ to be saved. And I believe we have done that. Sindio. And so our believing in Christ is our showing of faith. When we confessed, atuku nyamaza tusitulisema aloud. And by us saying it aloud, God was able to take it as a sign of faith that enyewe, uh, Manu has believed in my son Jesus and now he is made right, in a right relationship with me. And that is where we begin. That is just where we begin. In this journey of salvation, by our forgiveness of sin, see ati nimeforgive you, so niko na ticket ya heaven. Ah, sana ishi vile na ataka, eh? No. When we were forgiven in Christ, we were to be forgiven so that we have a right relationship with God, so that we can begin that journey of right relationships with Him. Amen? Kuanza tu your journey. Kuanza your journey. And kuendelea na your journey. The same way, Colossians chapter 2, I believe verse 1, 2, or 3, it says that as you believed in Jesus Christ, as simply as you did that, continue walking in Him, rooted and grounded in Him. Amen? So, Twendele, with the simplicity of faith, the faith does not change. We literally confess Jesus as your Lord, ukakwa saved. The same way, you are to continue on having faith in Jesus Christ, and you will continue being washed. And so, Leo Romans chapter 4 is interesting. The Jews were going up and down. Uh, they really value the law. They really value. So, they, they really worked they really, well, you're gonna do, if I keep the Ten Commandments and then I keep God other 603 commandments between Genesis and na, Deuteronomy, 613 commandments in total. We, ni mingi. One za kumbuka tukiendika pa rules, the engagement. Tueke tu tano lafu tuirab. Uta kumbuka? Zote. Yeah? It's, it's not easy. 2010. 2020. Eh, inanza kwa ngumu. So they had 613 laws. You shall do this, eh? You shall not do this. Usivai koti ikona mixed material. Always iva linen na wool. Lazima ikwe moja. You can't plant two, mm, two types of seeds in the same soil. Anasema, if you sin, this are, these are the animals you are to bring. Uh, this is the sacrifice you are to make. Tunona. A lot of things. And so they really valued that law. They knew this is the way to win God's approval, to be right with God. But Paul Akatuambia, it is by faith. And so Kuwa Onyesha, it is by faith. Paul had to reach out to an Old Testament saint, Kuwa Onyesha. You see, this working, this believing by faith, this justification, justification as to Lisema is just as if I never sinned. Yeah, that God takes, takes me just as if I never sinned in simplicity, even the justification in Amansha. Because by the blood of Jesus, I am, I am washed. In Aosha. Tunimanga damu ya Yesu, husafisha kabisa. Sindio? It really washes. Justification. So, ukitaka kuelewa hii, just say, just as if I never. Why? Why does God take you this way? Because an exchange happened on the cross. You took the perfect life of Jesus and he took your sinful life. That is the exchange that happened. That happened. And so, uh, Paul Anatomia Abraham has an example for us that it is not the first time that God has made someone justified by faith. And so, from verse 1, Anasema, what then shall we say? Nico Romans chapter 4, verse 1. What then shall we say about Abraham, our forefather, according to the flesh? According to lineage yetu. Because who was a Jew? Paul was a Jew. Sindio. He was a Jew. He was a Benjaminite. Tribe Saul. Saul the king. The first king of Israel. And so he says that according to the flesh, according to human lineage, Abraham was our forefather. And then he says, for if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. Why? What does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was reckoned 
to him as righteousness. Hii tunaipata in Genesis 15. You see what happened kulikuwa na an army ilikuwa ime attack where Lot was living. And so when they attacked it, a report came to Abraham. And Abraham akaenda, akam, akam save. And he saved him and he saved the people. And so, ilikuwa uh, inasema that four kings, four kings, four kings ndo alikuwa attack. And so, uh, God alisaidia Abraham. Abraham alikuwa tuna only servants. Ata siyami, servants. Walienda waka wejuo gorilla ile mnata kwa watu sailo expect wakashinda waka deliver watu and so in the night i think alikuwa na stress ama kuogopa tu si ndio unaweza imagine naishi kwa tent si ati kwa nyumba kwa tent alafu tu ume attack four kings eh four kings so unajua eh hao watakuja haikosi watakuja siku moja sasa ita happen aje itakuwaaje i think hizo ndio tunzikwa zina run in his mind. And then maybe Nanikuliwa, who will inherit all this? Those are the questions he was struggling with. And I think God Aliona. And so Akam Kujia in Genesis 15, Akamwambia, mm, uh, Abraham, I am your shield and I am your uh, great reward. That uh, you may ulkomenda war. Normally, when people go to war, they come back with prizes of war. But Akwa Nakitu. And so God I am your shield, I will protect you. So you don't need to fear any counter attack. And I am your reward. Ha! Nani aka kaivi? Abraham kasemu. Eh, nimzuri. Thank you, God. Lakini, sina any hair wa? Sina any hair wa my estate. Ata nikienda, my servant ndo atachukua. A servant will be the heir of my possession. Yeah, and God will come a promise. It is through him, ndo, and through his descendants, akimuita, through your, you and your descendants, ndo, promises zangu zita kwa fulfilled. And so, God will come and say, talk anje. Aka talk anje. God will come and say, star, sti, nani ameko usha go in a clear night, in a light pollution, uko na stars, bilis na kwanga mingi. Mwa na ibo? Si kama Nairobi, no nangatu moja, 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 na kwanga mingi sana. So they say around 6,000 in, in, in a clear night. You can see with your naked eye, 6,000 stars. But there are billions and billions and billions of stars. Saindo tunaelewa, ziko ivo. Your time, alikotono na 6,000. And God akamambia, I will make your descendants as many as the stars of the heaven. And akaona. And it was then that inatuambia in Genesis chapter 15 verse 6 that Abraham believed God, and God reckoned it for righteousness. And so, kina nani wamefanya accounting? Najwa tuko na watu wamefanya biko. So, the word reckon, re, the word reckon is an accounting word. Kuna version zinatumia this, that God reckoned it, ama God accounted it. It is from the same, reckon is a accounting word that means to come to the conclusion to come to the con to the conclusion after after i can say after some calculations this is what it means to reckon ni sazile maybe umeenda shopping uko na receipt una una account ido imetumika hivi ido imetumika hivi ido imetumika hivi that's to reckon, to reckon. And so, uh, while I'm for accounting, wana juanga. If if I have a, if I have a page, sijina ito aje. Ni isa ndo dr and cr. Amani the opposite side. Let's just say ni. So this is the deb the debit side. I apa unekazile bitu zinengizado. Na hii side ingine unayeka zile vitu zina, zina toa. Credit side. And so, uh, normally see you that God ana, anandika nga zile vitu mzuri tumefanya hapa, anazilist down, alafu zile vitu mbaya tunafanya, anazieka hapa. Alafu tukienda heaven, atakotoa kiangalia, ah, ulifanya vitu 99 mzuri, ukafanya vitu 50, 
mbaya mfana subtract na sema 45 ah unaweza ingia heaven so then god anakuanga hivyo hapana you see for god he does not do this the the bible says that god has a has a, has a list in his books and this list has your name the may only person x ndo ni si rushiwe mawe si ndio person x so person x anandika analyze down everything you have ever done everything whether good or whether bad and so when judgment comes god will be simply looking for one thing you have ever done moja tu itakutoa why because there's something about sin that sin ate ku ndogo aje a little lie in as a bring very great destruction sindio si lazima iko kubwa it can be very little because it is in your character character and god anajua for eternity akiacha yo yo ikwe yo kitu ndogo ikiendelea ku grow imagine in eternity itakuwa kubwa aje you see and so that is what god does so ata allow ata even there is no sin in heaven ata kidogo and so sisi wote eh uh, nani hapa amejaribu sana amefanya one one mistake a day moja tu hata si moja moja hiyo ni limit moja tu moja tu you know one sin in a year ni 300 300 times you have been you have been failing god and in 10 years ni 3000 hiyo ni tu ukifanya one mistake every day sasa reality tunafanyanga moja <laughs> na nganga kadha so imagine so is same at god itakuwa kadha yes so this is how god will be judging na kila mtu ako hivyo the bible says that kuna the book of life na kuna books books will be opened books will be opened and so what happens is here paul anatuambia not person x anatuambia there was a person called the abbreviate ib ama abraham so abraham abraham believed god when he was told that you're going to you're going to be an heir that you're going to have many descendants come at this the stars ali believe god ali believe god and so when ali believe god in a sema god reckoned it as righteousness and so God alikuja hapa akataka kuandika faith and so he did this to nani hapa ashaenda kwa duka akachukua deni 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 ama pale kwa smoki alafu akimaliza ukienda kulipa si ana cross anasema hii imelipwa alafu unaandika paid si ndio and so God did the same thing so when Abraham believed God God went to his page aka cross and akaandika faith ni vile hako andika faith na the correct spelling or rather hako andika f a i t h he wrote he wrote this word he wrote he wrote righteous that abraham is righteous because he has believed me abraham is righteous before me he is now in a right relationship with me and so this is what happened for abraham when he believed god why because when abraham believed that he would have many descendants one of the descendants would be who would be christ and in so by believing in having a promised son he was believing that in the son of god tunona vile sisi look back to salvation in christ they were looking forward to christ the same thing sisi tunaenda tukiangalia nyuma au alikuwa anaenda wakiangalia wakiangalia mbele and so this is what god did for abraham and so uh paul anasema not just abraham even david tunajua david david was a very godly king a man after god's own heart eh and god alikuwa anampenda sana and he really loved god david really loved god alikuwa anaenda ana dance mpaka nguo hizi za nje hakuwa naked ni ngotu za nje zili the robe ndo zili zilianguka akabaki na zandani but he really loved god and he really ex- he was a person of faith at 17 the whole army of israel wamona goliath akikuja and 
Ya nafanya nini? Anasema, ako wapi? Why is this uncircumcised Philistine? Akuje ni maliza nanae. How can he defy the armies of the living God? He knew his God. He really knew him. But although he was a mighty man of God, he was a man. And kuna mali alishikwa because of his humanity. And he sinned against God when he slept with Bathsheba. But not just sleeping with her. Yo sin moja ali break. Tuneza count. When David ali sin Bathsheba, ali sin, ali break almost four or five commandments because he started with you shall not covet your neighbor's land or wife or maid or animals. And you do not covet, I'm a break. Sindio. Akalala nae, do not commit adultery. Akaua, do not, do not murder. Unwa na hizo zote. Aliendatua akizibunja in one afternoon. Sha, amenda kibunja all those commandments. You see? And so when he was repenting in Psalms 32, upon the sasa Paul anatukotia. And he says in verse 6, so also David pronounces blessing upon the man to whom God reckons righteousness apart from works. Yani, God hango jayadi, you, you start doing something. Maybe kama ni David, uh, I don't know. I don't know sin kama David kuna vileoneza kwa na right na God after. Do we see, we bring back the dead. You see, there are things that are irreversible. But anasema, blessed are those whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord will not reckon his sin. Yani, anasema that blessed. The, word, the blessed there in Hebrew is, oh, how happy. To me, some other beatitudes, blessed are the pure in heart, blessed are the, ni oh, how happy. Oh, how happy are the, those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be, they shall be free. Oh, how happy. And up anasema, happy is the person Mwenye sinzake zimekuwa forgiven. You're just a happy person. Ahuna guilt. Whose sins are covered. To whom God ha impute, God ha record, God ha record your sins anymore. Amesha cross out because of Jesus. Amesha cross out because of Jesus. Happy, happy is that person. And so he says in verse 9 that is this blessing pronounced only upon the circumcised or also upon the uncircumcised? We say that faith was reckoned to Abraham as righteousness. How was it reckoned to him? Before or after circumcision. It was not after, but before. Hapa Paul anatembea that when God alifanya this merciful thing of saying that Abraham is now righteous, Abraham was not circumcised yet it was this is genesis 15 circumcision came around genesis 18 later on that is where when circumcision came and circumcision was only a seal unona kama vile a ring is a seal of marriage a seal of the vows that you have made sindio that is what a ring is it's just a seal it just shows people what you have already committed to in marriage the same thing, circumcision was a seal of the covenant that God had with Abraham, that God would use Abraham and his descendants to inherit the land, the land of Israel, and for his promises and for his blessings to flow through Abraham to all the world, to Nona. And so to make that seal, he made it in a very interesting way, Akambia, through circumcision. God aliangala, niteka wapi maki nye wata kwa kijifanya? Oh, kijoe ni mtu wa God, like, lineage yao, si ujifanya tu na, uh, maybe, ah, you know this person ni wa royal family. Tuna wanaibo. But sasa imagine watu inye wanajua, au ni watu wa God. Eh? Nisema, angalia imak, angalia imak. Eh? Mini mtu wa God, tebu ni eshimu. Yeah, that is how we normally are. And so God akata after place, au takuwa proud kwa nyeshana. And so he chose circumcision. I believe that was one of the major reasons, yeah? Circumcision. And so th it was just a seal that these are my people. These are my people. But 
before even before that Paul hapo anataka to put this to to us to put this across that this reckoning of faith is not for the Israelites only it is for all of us sisi wote hapa the same way Abraham ali believe God akakuwa right na yeye the same way pia wewe na mimi when we believe in God we are made right with God the same way because it happened before circumcision and so at wezi sema ah it was because alikuwa circumcised so god sasa because even what alikuwa nasema they were saying for you to be a christian you must first be under the law of moses how if you are a man you first need to be circumcised is only with works of the law works of the law and so paul alikuwa na argue and sema no you don't need to do that you simply need to believe in god Abraham believed in God before he was circumcised and he was made right. It's the same case if I believe and if you believe in God. Simply how do you believe in God? Jesus was saying what are we to do to do the works of God and he says believe in him whom the father has sent. Our believing in Jesus is what makes us right with God. Our believing in Jesus makes us right. And so he says in verse 11 He received circumcision as a sign or a seal of the you know going to explain just as a sign or a seal of the righteousness which he had that ile righteousness God al kwamesha mpatia the seal was circumcision the same way God does for us the righteousness that we receive he seals us but not through circumcision he seals us with his spirit sindio Ephesians chapter 1 verse 14 it says that in him you also who have heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation and have believed in him were sealed with the promised holy spirit which is the guarantee of our inheritance ye guarantee ni the seal a seal god am make the seal of his spirit until we acquire possession of it to the praise of his glory a seal ama a deposit unanga tukena ukenanga kununua kitu mdogo mdogo unafanya ng'a nini unaekanga deposit wanasema hii iko na mtu hata kama hujamaliza kulipa iko na mtu si ndio and so the same thing inasema that when we believed in god god made a deposit in our hearts that we are his children how by depositing himself through his spirit and so the spirit of god lives in us that is how we are sealed with god and in romans 8 we will see paul anasema uh, we have not received the spirit of bondage to fear but the spirit of adoption to sonship and by his spirit we cry out abba father we cry out father that we now call god not king we do not call him ulemsi anaishi upstairs we call him father abba father he is our abba means daddy is a very endearing word endearing word Romans 4:12 and likewise the father of the circumcised who are not merely circumcised but also follow the example of faith which our father Abraham had before he was circumcised that apa nasema that this righteousness new for those who are circumcised and for those who are uncircumcised in other words anasema it is for the Jews and it is for the gentiles see remember say lot mesoma i mesema that there are neither Jews nor gentiles there are neither male nor female there is neither slave or free <laughs> or the free why because we are all one in Christ sindio in Christ Jesus uh apo in our members the same thing here anasema by faith when we believed in Christ what happened god ali to place in Christ and so because we are in Christ tunajua Christ see Christ is of the seed of Abraham sindio Abraham lineage ukienda David ukiendelea Joseph and both joseph and mary were descendants of king david na jaibo is quenius both of them were descendants of king david and so from the father side and from the mother side jesus alikuwa anaweza ku inherit the throne of his father david and so because when we believed in christ this is what god anasema when we believed in christ uh, members in atembia uh, those who uh, for those who believe in christ have been baptized into him sindio so ame tuingiza ndani nikikula chiposa hii si itaingia ndani yangu itakuwa in me sindio this is, that is literally even in amanisha when we were baptized into christ tuliingizwa ndani yake and so it means all the blessings zenye god alipatia abraham and through abraham ikaenda kwa christ 
sisi wote tunazienjoy tunaweza enjoy how because we believe in Christ and so we have been placed in Christ and that is how we are able to obtain those blessings tunaona it still applies to every one of us whether we are Jews or Gentiles so hakuna distinguishing mark hakuna mtu akusema ah mimi ni hakuna hapa kunanga the gender issue that a man is more holy than a woman no there is nothing like that ama mimi i'm rich and you're poor haiko ama that you're a different race white or black or yellow it does not really matter we are all in need of christ and when we believed in christ we have the same standing before god because we all access god through jesus christ sindio that is the that is the good news that we now enjoy and so verse 13 and as the promise to abraham and his descendants that they should inherit the world did not come through the law but through the righteousness of faith yani anasema god ali wa promise the, the world the land the riches that ali kwa me wa promise ali wa promise not when they were working in the law not when they were having the 10 commandments not when they were having all these commandments god ali kwa nataka wa obey because moses i moses hata kwa mezaliwa sindio by the time abraham moses alikuwa bado mbali and so anything that everything that god was doing for them he was doing working with abraham partnering with abraham through faith abraham alikuwa tu na believe and the faith of abraham is seen through obedience alikuwa very abraham was very obedient to the point alikuwa anaitwa the friend of god the friend of god and so he says in verse 14 So if it is the adherents of the law who are to be heirs faith is null and the promise is void. Apa nasema uh if i promise you something si utaniamini tu because si ya guarantee nimesema tu ah by the way nasikia kwa peleka out you see it is a promise but nikisema ah mkisafisha hii hall nitawapeleka out mnahitaji faith kweli kwa mimiyo si kwanza mta demand eh mtaosha mnasema john tupeleke sasa hii pizza tunaitaka you see why because you have worked for it sindio and so paul anataka kutuambia you can never tell god ah god a eh, nimeenda church nime fast nimeomba eh nimejali watu heaven lazima niingie lazima you see he is trying to say No one can tell that to God. Why? Because standards are God ni so high. So high awezi keep. Hawezi hata ujaribu aje. Hawezi. And so because hatukuweza ku keep hizo standards are God and standards are God ni right. Certain ni wrong. There's nothing wrong about the laws of God. The issue is sisi hatuwezi zi keep. So God did not lower his standards. What God did through Christ, he came to pick us up so that we can keep those standards. Tunaona he Christ came to pick us up to keep the standards of God and so God has in no point to sidani when Christ came alikuja kulua standards of God never no he came so that he can pick us up so that now when i am trying to live a truthful life to live a pure life i am not trying it by my effort i am trying it by faith in Jesus Christ by faith and how is that it is when i love this quote it says stop trying and start trusting it is when i get to the same issue that ilikuina ni sumbua and rather than this time uh ku indulge do even when ilikuwa when i was sinful sindio or rather than trying to ku exert effort this time i just say jesus i am going through this help me to 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 maintain my faith and then what the spirit of god will tell you you obey akisema kimbia kama joseph unakimbia akisema omba akisema study my word akisema forgive what the spirit of god tells you he gives you the grace to do it tunaona hivyo and that is now what it means to be living in faith living in faith is very practical ni vile sisi tunadhani ingi tu ah ku live in faith sasa inakaje mimi jipenda ku mimi upenda kujiuliza hizo maswali god amesema tu live in faith inakaje It, just, it is as simple as just telling god god i have my day na niko na time mingi na sijui nitaspendaje nisaidie 
God, I have this assignment. That is living in faith. It is showing God that you need him, that he has a place in your life. Tumeona. And so even in our relationship with God, that we can never, at least if you go to say, God, to not deserve kusubabu to make keep, do at least keep. And so God, by faith, kuamini tu, kuamini tu, in God. And to make to right. And so verse 15, and say, for the law brings wrath. Eh? When you try to keep the law, nani hapa ame try ku, ame try, enyewe ushai papas, Leo sita break any commandment ya God. Ni me papas. Eh? Lafu na jipata kwa fix. Fix in your wongo ineza kusasa idea. Eh? Unasema tu. Mm. And sometimes you don't have to lie by saying. You can lie by being silent. Eh? Kunya mazia story tu. Indo ipite. Eh? Mtu asa hao. Eh? Kuna deni ya mtu asa hao umemuona. Ay. Nikonayo lakini. Sitampatia leo. You see, that, that is our, we justify, the things that we still justify. Hey, zina kuanga mingi sana. And so, inaleta anger, because when you fail to keep it, unafika unakasirika, unasema, kai, leo nilikuwa nime papa school of right, sasa angalia, enyewe niko saved, enyewe God ananipenda kweli, unaanza kukasirika. You see, that is what the Lord does. But faith high neighbor. 16, verse 16, and said, that is why it depends on faith in order that the promise may rest on grace. You see, because by faith, it is by grace. What does grace mean? Grace means undeserved and unearned, unmerited favor from God. Grace, unmerited Merit ina manisha wezi ifanyi ya kazi. Uh, si kama certificate. That, and utangape wa walikuwa presidential digital, uh, presidential award scheme. Mnenda maybe orienteering, natembea five kilometers kwa forest, kimaliza, you merit an award from the president. That is, now it is unmerited. There is no way utasema God ni mefanya hivi. It is an and, au ifanyi kazi, and it is undeserved. I always say, ah, I deserve it. Eh? It is undeserved at all. You don't deserve it. God amekupatia tu, ju God anakupenda. Because he is gracious. Because he is lovely. And he is loving. Grace. And so he says, so God ame purpose ikwe by faith. Mbona, ndo ionyeshe his grace. That we didn't deserve it, but ame tupatia. We didn't deserve to be right, to be in a right relationship. Ni tuliko to make us God. Rather than to keep grudge. Rather than kusema, ah, ni pati yini hii, ndiyo mkwe right na mimi. God amesema, when you just believe in Jesus, then my relationship with you is restored. You see, it is just the grace of God. And so he says, it is by grace. It depends on faith so that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all descendants. That now I don't have to be a Jew. See, lazima ni keep customs that the Jewish don't be right na God. I can be right with God as God and an enable. Vile mimi na believe in Christ. Ndiyo mtu wako China na believe. Ndiyo mtu wako US na believe. Ndiyo watu wanyu walikuwa naishi zamani wali believe. Ndiyo watu, ile generation itakuja after me ita believe. Tumiona it is a guarantee to anyone. Anasema, uh, uh, as long as you call on the name of the Lord, you will be saved. As long as you call. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever time it is, as long as you call on the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. That is the promise of God. That is the promise of God. And so, uh, it is a guarantee. As long as we follow to God, I'm saying, faith in Christ. And so it is by his grace. And then he says, not only to the adherents of the law, but also to those who share the faith of Abraham. For he is the father of us all. Father Abraham had many sons. He is the father of faith. He is the father of, you know, the pioneer in, in essence of being right with God by faith. And so he says, Ilian Zapia Nasema, as it is written, verse 17, I have made you the father of many nations. 
in the presence of the God in whom he believed. Here, I'll make you a father of many nations. This is a quotation. Uh, you see, the name, Tunajua Abraham, Ako anaitu Abraham, ilitenjiwa. God, God, uh, when I name someone, it means that person is under me. Tunajua ibo. Uh, that's why parents name their children. Sindio? When you name someone or you name something, it means you have authority over it. And so this is what... Abraham means exalted father. Simply. That exalted... So in Dojina, Lipatiwa na... Na his... That was the father of Abraham. Nitera, Manahor. But God alimpatiya ijina. Abraham, father of many. So I think that God anakwangana jokes. Eh? Mtu ana mtoto wata moja. Moja. Anamuita father of many. Uyo na imagine Abraham alikuwa nenda kwa duka. Ati unaito nani Abraham? Apa na Abraham. Oh, Abraham. Kona watoto wangafi? Kona watoto wangafi? Bado sina. Oh. Father, many, interesting, eh? And it took time because that, that's like from se- promise me commit at seventy-five. Unangoja tu, unangoja tu, unangoja tu. Father of many nations, but even the word in a sema, uh, verse seventeen. And so God, God made this promise, Father of many nations, in the presence of the God in whom He believed. Who gives life? This is this is the character of God. See, last week to look out, we go looking for the character of God. In Asema, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist? To Manakti God Alikwana Fanya Abraham. That because God knows the future, God was calling Abraham who he was before time allowed it. To me honor. That God knew. Abraham would be the father of many nations. And like the stars, it will say, Alimonia shot the stars. With the naked eye, I'll go on 6,000 stars approximately. But Sayyid Najwa, there are billions and billions and billions of stars. And the promise that God had made to Abraham is that I will make your descendants as many as the stars of heaven and as the sand of the sea. Sure. Now, Allah told me, Fanya Isabu, the scientists have come to realize that in a sense, there are as many sand in the seashore as there are stars in the sky. God alikuwa najua. See, and alikreate. I was surprised. I can make your comparison. Alikuwa najua. Ziko almost same. And so, what God was doing here, he was calling Abraham who he was before your time, if you can. Because tunajua God knows, God knows the end from the beginning. Tunajua ibo? Our God knows the end from the beginning. He is divine. He is Alpha and Omega. He is Alpha and Omega. Before he starts something, he has already seen it through to the end. To Kisama, to Kendela, Romans 8, to Tona, that Anasema, and to them that God foreknew, he predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. And to them that he predestined, he called. And then he justified. And then he glorified. Yeah, that for those who believe in Christ, Process yao ya salvation to God imesha isha. Amesha waona through. Ni time to imebaki ku reveal. And so that was it for Abraham. Only time was remaining so that akwe a father of many nations. But to God's eyes, iliko imesha, imesha fanyika. And that is what we mean. But by God calling into existence things that are, as it happened, bado. And so I don't know in your life, ni nini God amonandani yako? One thing I know, God and Twitter are saints. He has already seen that you are a saint. And so it is, God a meshaw na evil. It is in you. Ni wewe tu kui work it out. But it is already in you. He has seen it. Sometimes, kama tuniza kwa kama awa watu nyalikuwa around Abraham. Hey, aki uko na imani. Many nations. Na una mtu yata moja. And sometimes even do tunakuanga. Ah, ati wendo saint. Ah, na bila unaishi yenyewe. Sioni any say eh oh, okay okay Saint Anita hapana. Okay Saint Sly. 
but it is only a matter of time ambiam yeah. it is only a matter of time it is only a matter of time that you will see the sainthood in me sindio because it is that is what god has called us he has called us to be saints he has called us to be kings and to be priests he has called us to be to be great to be great people to be his servants to be his friends to bear his authority you see god amesha to it easy bit we are called children of god sons of god and because god is a king we are also kings in god oshay jonzebo that we are kings in god and we have this relationship na god and so uh in atu abraham anaendelea paul anasema in verse 18 so what abraham did abraham believed against hope yani oshay kwa na hope but your hope ata i make sense 90 90 utakuaje na mtu hii at 90 abraham was 89 at uh, 99 at that time sarah was 89 because they had isaac at 100 and at 90 so ilikuwa one year i hope not your months probably ilikuwa one year nyuma si ndio 89 and 99 And so anasema Abraham believed against all hope Abraham still believed in God. Ushai kwa point yenyewe I make sense hakuna hope nothing but you still hope in God. You see hapo ndo Abraham alikuwa he still hoped in God. Mbona li hope in, in God inasema So in hope he believed against hope that he should become the father of many nations as he had been told. As he had been told by God so shall your descendants be. He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body which was as good as dead because he was about a hundred years or when he considered the barrenness of sarah's womb no no distrust made him waver concerning the promise of god yani haku haku sema really god unasema ah apana ili happen ndo ishmael akakuja but you see what happens is there is never a sin mentioned kwa wale saints wa old testament in the new testament never never okay so my new testament the sins of david as we mentioned the sins of abraham as we mentioned as long as they were saints of god the ungodly but in aqua mentioned esau is mentioned his sins are mentioned in hebrews chapter 12 but for the sins of god they are never mentioned why because the blood of jesus washed and that is how your record will be in heaven that what say ah huyu alikuwa anafanya hivyo nasema ah wewe nionyeshe kwa by, kwa kwa record ya god imeandikwa wapi eh why because god has washed it clean si ndio the blood of jesus and so here anasema he really abraham really believed in god and i hope to know um, eh, isaac was not conceived miraculously kama jesus si ndio tunajua hivyo Yeah, he was not conceived miraculously so he believed in god and he did something no distrust made him waver concerning the promise of god but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to to god why i want you leo you go with this definition of faith this is what faith means to dele hebrews 11 that says faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things that have not yet been seen but this one is also a very powerful definition of faith it says that abraham was fully convinced that god was able to do what he had promised to do abraham was what abraham was what after me abraham was what fully fully i am not fully convinced abraham was fully convinced that what god was god was able to do what he has what he has promised and that is faith faith is being fully convinced i'm fully persuaded that god amesema ni god amesema hiyo tu ndo unafaa kujali kama ni god amesema bas it does not matter the obstacles that may come it does not matter the time it may take but because god has said it you just keep the faith and you will see it coming to pass and actually the more the, the longer it takes the more obstacles there are the greater 
the miracle. Amen? Amen. And so he says, fully convinced, Abraham Ali believed God, even at 99, ah, Sarah ameshafika menopause, hezi kwa namtoi, she was barren, and he had, obstacle number one, Sarah was barren. Ushe juliza mbona, tunasama nga Bible, tunafika Genesis 5, nana, ah, and nani begat nani, and begat nani, and begat nani, and ah, nini, nini, turuke, in chapter 11, zingine, Ah, majina ngumu, arifaksad, sijui nani, bigat nani, peleg, bigat, ahi. Kwa ni unashanka kazi yao tu ilikuwa tuku bigat, eh? You see, that was, God anatonisha tu, hivyo ndo ilikuwa line, but ikafika mahali ikasema, and Sarah was barren. Ikasumama. Iyo linye jiote ikasumama kwa Sarah. Ikasumama kwa Sarah. Sarah was barren. Ikasimama. And so the question is, what would God do about, about this, about barrenness? And so now Sarah alikuwa barren, and now amepita yu age ya kuwa na, ya kuwa na mtui. Amesha pita. But God. Sema but God. But God. Yes, but God, God can do anything. Ambia mtu, God can do anything he wants. God can do anything he wants. Hey, yes, God can do anything he wants. And because he had promised Abraham atakuwa na a son, kutoka wawa wili, alisema, no, you will not even adopt. You will not even have another, a child from another person. No, Abraham and Sarah, you are going to have a child, a promised child. And God did that. And in Genesis 18, when God... Uh, and I say, three angels while he visit Abraham. Sindi wa? I say, ah, msini pite kujeni. Karibuni sana kwa nyumbangu. Wacha ni utengu. Kitu kidogo tu, eh, slice moja, amkate na nini, lafane nda jikoni. Iyo ni nakuanga ho. Jikoni, I say, eh, chinja ngombe. Nini, nini. Oko kwa nini, wagini ulembe. Ah, ni kikombe tu moja ya chai. Kume ni sapa muna prepare kitchen, eh. That is typical, like it's somehow African culture. That's how we mean. I always end up nyumba na usikose kukula. So that is what he did. And and it was then that God akambia, akambia Abraham that the, this time next year, Sarah takwa na mtui. Sarah ka cheka. And that is what Isaac means. Isaac means a joke. Ju Sarah li cheka. She laughed. I easy happen. Never. But ni God. God does not do things our way. He does si lazima tuelewe. But he did it. He did it. And so we see the faith of Abraham. But I love the way Paul anamalizia. As atami anamalizia. Anamalizia vizuri. Anasema. Verse 22. That is why his faith was reckoned to him as righteousness. Tunona. When, when Abraham believed the promise of God that he would have a son, he was believing in Christ. To know naivo, the relation. Why? Because through Isaac and through the lineage, Christ came. To me ona. So God was able, in a sense, Abraham was believing in Christ. In a sense. He was believing in Christ. And so he says, so he was, he was made righteous. He was, his account was reckoned as righteousness. He was in a right relationship with God. That is what, to listen to righteousness means you're in a right relationship with someone. And so if, uh, if uh, Nathaniel is righteous with me, in a manisha tukona relationship poa na ye, and sin ilikuwe mekuja katikati yetu na God. And so we, we were not righteous. That means the opposite of righteous is we were wicked. Uh, ukenda kwa courtroom, unasikenga this person is innocent or guilty. Sindio? You're either innocent or you're guilty. But Ungena a Hebrew court, ungeskia innocent or guilty, ungeskia righteous or wicked. Eh. If you're innocent, you're righteous. If you sin, you're wicked. And so he says that will Abraham ali obtain righteousness the same way. Anasema, but the words it was reckoned to him, this one, the reckoning in Yetumesema Leo. This reckoning, this God kukuja kusema in conclusion. Uh, because I may believe in me, 
cross. Ile page yako inakuwa crossed. Unasema you are now righteous. That I will not consider your evil deeds anymore. Why? Because you believe in my son Jesus. And that is what he says. Anasema, it was not written for Abraham's sake alone. No, but for ours also. Ata sisi. It will be reckoned to us who believe in him that raised from the dead Jesus our Lord. And this Jesus was put to death for our trespasses and he was raised for our justification. That Jesus died because of the sins we did and by his raising from the dead, we are now in a right relationship with God. Because by Jesus rising from the dead, it proved that the sacrifice he made was accepted. Tunajua hivyo. That kama Jesus ange sin, ange kufa, ange kufa. Lakini hange fufuka. But because ali fufuka, inamanisha God aliona sacrifice ali toa, akasema imetosha. That sacrifice for the sins of people is enough. It has done its work. And so Jesus rose from the dead. And now we are right with God. Tell your neighbor, tell mwenye kukaribu na ye, it is by faith. It is by faith. That it is not by feeling. Mwambe, it is not by feeling. Eh, si lazima ni feel, uh, ni ko right na God, apana, ni imani. And this faith is sin. You work it out. When you believed in Jesus, you are forgiven. And there is nothing that can take you out of that state ya God. Hakuna, we uneza jitoa, but usi jitoe. We are called, once we are in Christ, to continue journeying. Usi, usi kwe wale watu wenye ndo hii line, unataka tu kuka hapa, bado unataka kurudi kwa dunia, but unataka, uko tu, uko tu hapa. God anatuambia, now that umeingia, enda ndani. Now that umeingia into the courtroom of God, enda, press in to the holy of holies. Usi kai tu, uko nje kwa uwanja. Ingia ndani. Ingia ndani. Mbona, anasema, it is simple. As simple as will you believe in me, ukakua made right. It is the same simplicity of faith that it takes you to continue in the journey of salvation. It is as, as mletu ulikuwa nsema, Bwana Yesu, unajembele zako mimi ni mwenye zambi. The same simplicity it takes for you to continue on living in Christ. The same simplicity that you will have to ask, God, I am facing this challenge. Help me. When God says, give your body a living sacrifice, unampatia. If he says, renew your mind. If he says, lying is wrong. You say, God, you have said lying is wrong. Help me to walk in truth. And whatever situation unajipata, unasema, God, I trust you. Mimi nitasema ukweli, liwe liwalo. That God, I will be pure, liwe liwalo. God, maybe these thoughts zimikwazi kikuja. Maybe these things I have been washing that are not right. But Lord, liwe liwalo. Leo naziwe kachini. In Jesus' name. And I move on from here. You see, whatever comes your way, it is the same faith. It is all by faith. Tunalan, tuliona Romans 1, inasema, that it is from faith, the righteousness of God, it starts from faith, it ends with faith. It is faith all through. And why do we have this immense faith in God? We have this immense faith because God is able to do what he has said he will do. That we are fully persuaded, come Abraham, we are fully pr- persuaded that what God has promised, he will do. That if God says that you are my son, I am his son in Christ. If God says I am an overcomer, I am an overcomer. If God says I am forgiven, I am forgiven. And I will not really care what people say or what my heart sometimes may deceive me. Ikiniambia, ah, really? Ukweli, uko sure? Ah. God has said it, and because God has said it, I believe. Amen? Simply believe, and you will see. And you will see. I'd just like us to stand, and I don't know what, what God has been ministering to you in any part of the passage, but I know he has ministered to you. And I pray that God, that I increase your faith. Just tell God, God, I thank you. I do not have to try to work out Si lazima ni try na effort yangu kuku please atindo ni feel ni ko accepted na wewe I thank you because Jesus Christ has made it available to me it is by faith and I simply believe and I simply believe by faith I believe you I believe you Jesus I believe that you are risen from the dead that you died for my sins amen 
and just go before God and just say thank you for faith. Thank you for faith. It is a guarantee. We have a guarantee. God has made it sure for each and every one of us that when we live in faith, we have it all. When we live in faith, we have his promises. His promises are sure. God can never lie. God can never change his mind. His word is true. His word is sure. We now have a more sure foundation, the scriptures, so that God has said, I will honor my word even above my name. God has promised to keep his word. And so it is for us to simply believe. I don't know how impossible it is. I don't know the mountain that you're facing. I don't know the challenge that you're facing. I don't know what, how, how tough it looks like. I don't know how tough it looks like, but I, I thank God that it is not as tough as he is. That our God is a mountain mover. Our God is a storm calmer. He is king. He is enthroned over the flood. He is our God. He is our king. He is our maker. God can do whatever he wants. And he has said that I know the thoughts I have toward you. They are thoughts of peace. They are not thoughts of harm to give you a future and an expected end. That we are sons of God. We are heirs of the promises of God. And by these promises, God has said that I desire that you may be partakers of my divine nature. God desires that we partner, that we partner with him, that we partner with him, that we partner with him by faith, by faith, by faith. And so, Father, Lord, indeed, we are fully convinced today. The Lord, indeed, there is no offering. There is nothing that we can do that we can be right with you. But, Lord, we just come in the only acceptable way. For there is no other name, O oh Lord, in heaven or on earth that has been given, the name that has salvation, apart from that name of Jesus Christ. And so, Lord Jesus, we give our hearts and ourselves unto you, that you may have your way in our lives, O God. We thank you, my Father, you have made it very simple. Oh, my God, it may not be easy, but it is simple. That, Lord, indeed, every root of pride is demolished. Oh, my God, that it is simply by faith we are made right with you, Jehovah. And, Lord, indeed, we come before you today. And, Lord, we pray that, Lord, indeed, you may help us to go on and to mature in our faith in you. Oh, my God, that, Lord, indeed, we shall see Simply believe that, Lord, indeed, we are right with you. And, Lord, our believing shall bring a difference. That, Lord, indeed, our faith in Christ shall bring a difference. That, Lord, in the way we speak, in the way we talk, oh Lord, in the way we think, in the way we act, in the way we walk, Jesus, we pray that, Lord, all our lives shall be an expression of our faith in you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you that you're with us to deliver. And, Lord, like Paul, we declare that I thank my God always who in Christ, he always leads us to triumph. That, Lord, indeed, we shall triumph over sin. We shall triumph over bondages. We shall triumph, Jehovah, over difficulties that are our way my God, because we are your children, and Lord, indeed, we are fully persuaded that, Lord, indeed, you have better things in store for our lives. You have better things in store, my God, for our families. You have better things in store for our generation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are fully persuaded that, my God, you are strong and you're mighty to save. You're strong and you're mighty to deliver. You're strong and you're mighty to heal. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, oh Lord, we give ourselves unto you this moment, oh God. Thank you, my God. Oh Lord, we pray may you increase our faith. Oh Lord, you have said it, it does not take much faith. Faith as small as a mustard seed. That is what it takes to see change in our lives. And Lord, it is with this simple little faith we come to you today and we declare, Father, we believe you. Jesus, we believe you. And Lord, this simplicity of faith, we pray we may walk in obedience. Obedience, O oh Lord, for obedience shows our faith in you, that we trust you by trusting your word, by trusting your word. Thank you, Jehovah. May we keep your commandments not by works of the law, but, Lord, may we keep it by faith through the Spirit of God. We thank you. And, Lord, we pray that, Lord, indeed, this understanding of your word, that, Lord, we are, it is by faith. Wherever we go through, you may see it. 
we may see faith working in our lives, faith working through love. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for the gift of faith. Lord, I pray, Lord, for a gift of faith to be poured upon each and every one of us here. That, Lord, we shall be strong in faith. Nothing shall make us waver. My God, trials shall not make us waver. My God, sin shall not make us waver. Difficulties shall not make us waver. Oh, my God, even luck shall not make us waver. We shall trust that you love us and we shall trust that you are Jehovah. And because, Lord, we have you in our lives, all these other things shall be added unto us, O Lord. We thank you and we believe in your promises. Thank you. You have said all the promises of God are yes and amen in Christ. And we simply believe, for we today are in Christ, heirs of God, offsprings of Abraham. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you and we love you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Have your way in our lives. Lord, indeed, as we seek your face, I pray that you may remember all other areas of our lives. Father, Lord, where we are trusting you for jobs, I pray that you may provide. Lord, I pray those who are in schools that you may provide school fees in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, those who are facing family conflicts, the Lord indeed, O oh Lord, in simplicity of faith, as they call on your name, O oh Lord, the Lord you shall hearken and you shall show yourself mighty in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Have your way in their families, O oh Lord. Lord Jesus, we pray, those who are facing oppositions of whatever kind, O oh my God, spiritual of whatever kind, Lord indeed, we demolish every work of wickedness, every power of darkness in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare, my Father, in simplicity of faith, you have said we have authority to tread over serpents and scorpions. My God, they shall be able to achieve things in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall divinely preserve them in the mighty name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus upon each and every one of us here, upon each and every youth who is who may not be here as well. The Lord, indeed, we are going to walk in your life. We shall not die, but we shall live to declare of your praises. We thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Have your way, O Lord. Minister unto us. Continue ministering unto us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen.